Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Popeye, them finos say you're firm on street. And the news where you carry are no counterfeit. So tell all who are fighter you, them can't defeat. And I got give your strength so your heart no weak. Mm-hmm. So I say God and greatness. Like, subscribe, and share to Popeye News Links if it's the truth you want to hear. So yeah. Greetings, greetings, viewers and subscribers. So we're coming out a little late because we're having some issues. But you know it go already. <laughs> it's better late than never. On Saturday, April 27, former Miss Westmoreland Festival Queen Daniela Woodbine presents a backyard cookout. Over the next few weeks, I'll be telling you more about this event. But you can call our WhatsApp Daniela from now to place your order. Her number is 876 862 1036. That's 876 862 1036. On Saturday, April 27. Nobody cook. <laughs> Daniela is going to be taking very good care of you. So call or WhatsApp her now to place your orders. And for those who are inquiring, we are traveling along the Highway 2000. In the news today, I've carried some stories about that guy on your screen. His name is Tevin Chisholm, but he's popularly known as Icebird. Icebird is living in the Fullersfield area of Grangeville in the parish of Westmoreland. Icebird, he has been in police custody for the killing of a guy popularly known as Gully. Since Icebird has been in police custody, no one is living at his house because the threat for reprisal is real. Hoodlums are planning and they are carrying out reprisal attacks. Early yesterday morning, Saturday, April 6, about 3 o'clock, fire suspected to be caused by arsonist was seen coming from Icebirds to apartment Bordeaux. As a result, the police and the fire department, they were informed. A unit from the Savannah Lamar Fire Department responded, but when they reached, they were only able to do cooling down operations because the house and all its contents were completely destroyed by fire. Icebird's shop, which is at the front of the property, we are told that it was saved. Truth be told, more reprisals are expected. <laughs> that is the sad truth. This next incident, it took place last night. Saturday, April 6, about 9.30. It took place at Middle Street in the Bastard Cedar Walk area of Petersfield in the parish of Westmoreland. Our information is that a hard-working 53-year-old mechanic was at his home sitting on his veranda when a motorcycle with two hoodlums aboard rode up and stopped at his gate. The pillion, he jumped off the bike, pulled a gun and opened gunfire at the mechanic, hitting him to his left thigh. The hoodlum, he then jumped back on the bike and he and his crony, they made good their escape. The right side back door glass of a grey Toyota RAV4 that was parked in the yard was also damaged by bullets. The mechanic, he was rushed to a nearby hospital where he was treated and admitted. The police, they were called and when they processed this crime scene, a number of 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. Now, over in the parish of St. Anne. This one, it took place at the Kitty Cat Club and Bar at Runaway Bay in the parish of St. Anne. It took place last night. Saturday, April 6, about 8.30. Now, we are told that at this club, there is an entry fee of 500 Jamaican dollars. The operator for the club, her name is Ingrid Campbell, but she's popularly known as Cola. It is said that last night, 
Ingrid and other persons they were at the club when a guy walked up and was about to enter the club. Ingrid, she called out to him and told him that the entry fee is $500. We are told that the guy, he walked up to Ingrid and both of them started a conversation. During that conversation, the guy, he pulled a gun from his waist and squeezed off three at Ingrid, hitting her to her upper body. Ingrid, she fell to the ground and the hoodlum. He then made Ingrid's escape on foot in the area. The police, they were called and they rushed with Ingrid to the Sentence Bay Hospital. But she was later transferred to another hospital where she was admitted in a serious condition. At the time we were recording this video, we hadn't gotten any update as to her condition. But let's hope that she survived. If there is any other update... I will certainly be updating this story. The mayhem. This next incident, it took place yesterday evening. Saturday, April 6, about a few minutes to 7 o'clock. It took place along the Long Hill Main Road in the parish of St. James. We are told that a man, he was driving a grey Nissan Pulsar motor car. He was traveling from Anchovy towards Reading direction. On reaching a section of the Long Hill Main Road, the driver, he somehow ended up losing control of the car. As a result, the car veered to the left. If you look on your screen, the front section of the car hit into a section of that barrier. The car then swerved right and stopped into the stone embankment. It then burst into flames and that was it for the driver if you look on your screen no that is what is left of the car the driver he ended up being burnt beyond recognition and he died on the spot i am told that the car is registered to a man named Stephen of a new civil address in Senton, but i am yet to confirm who was driving it at the time as soon as i get that information i will certainly be updating this story stand by for that now this next incident it took place yesterday morning saturday april 6 about 10 o'clock it took place in the vicinity of gus's hideout bar at the entrance of 1010 lane in the gregory park area of saint catherine we are told that residents of the area they heard gunshots being fired when the smoke was clear they went and made checks. The lifeless body of a guy was seen lying face down along the roadway in a pool of blood. The guy who appears to be in his late 20s or early 30s is of a dark complexion. Slim built and about 5 feet 6 inches tall. He was dressed in a white t-shirt, a grey jean shorts and a red underpants. He was also wearing a pair of black Reebok sneakers and he had a white rug. The police, they were called and when they inspected this guy, he had received gunshot wounds to his head and his upper body. He appeared to have died on the spot. We are told that when the police processed this crime scene, a total of 12 spent shells were recovered from the scene. Now, at the time I was recording this video, I hadn't gotten the name of the deceased, but if and when I get his name, I will certainly be updating this story. The Mayhem Over in the parish of Westmoreland, this one took place last night, Saturday, April 6, about 9.30. It took place at Brighton District in the Little Bay area of Westmoreland. That lady on your screen. Her name is Mrs. Michelle Bremer Reed. On January 19, earlier this year, Michelle, she celebrated her 44th birthday. Michelle, she lived at Brighton District in the same Little Bay area of Westmoreland. We are told that last night, Michelle was at her male friend's house. 
He's a truck driver and he's popularly known as Bota. They sat on the veranda and they spoke for a while, but apparently, someone was in the dark waiting for the opportune time. After a while, Bota and Michelle, they went on his Blue Cobra motorcycle. They were about to ride to another house in the same community. As they were riding out of the yard, a hoodlum came from behind the wall at the front gate and opened gunfire at both Michelle and Bota. Both of them, they fell from the bike and the hoodlum, he made good his escape on foot in the area. It was then realized that both of them were shot. Bota, he received gunshot wounds to his abdomen, while Michelle, she received gunshot wounds to the back of her head. And from all indication, Michelle, she ended up dying on the spot. Bota, he was rushed to a nearby hospital where he was treated and admitted. The police, they were called and when they processed this crime scene, nine 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you know, something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to hit on it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be one of the first to be notified. In the final stories for today, there was mayhem in the Salt Spring area, in the Green Island Police area of Hanover last night. A total of four persons were shot, one fatally. If you look on your screen, I got those messages from someone early this morning. The person said, There has been a gang war between Lagood and South Spring, and them say a South Spring man kill Lagood Dan Scatter. So men go a South Spring and shoot up the place last night and say, Anyhow, them say none of the South Spring man them on the beach, a Negril, them are go kill them. It's sad bad and innocent people are get caught in a the crossfire because them just a ride round and a fire shot pan anybody them see pan the road. So if you look on the screen, there is the Lago Dan called Scatter that the person is referring to. His current name is Weird Phillips. He was shot and killed Thursday morning. April 4, about minutes to 11 o'clock at Bloody Bay Beach in Negril. The first attack took place last night. Saturday, April 6, about 8.38 p.m. It took place at Salt Spring. I carried a story last month and I told you that that guy on your screen, his name is Shaquille Myrie. He was 28 years old and he was living in the Salt Spring area of Hanover. On Saturday morning, March 9, about 10 o'clock, Shaquin, he was riding a special edition motorcycle along the Green Island Main Road when he rode out into the path of a 2011 white Toyota Axio motor car. Shaquin, he was hit from the bike and he died sometime after in hospital that young man on your screen his name is keith mary but he was popularly known as junior or biggs biggs was a 20 year old bike taxi operator and he was living in the same salt spring area here this now biggs and shakin are brothers are you following me no last night exactly Four weeks after his brother met in an accident and subsequently died, Biggs, he was riding his red CG150 motorcycle along the Salt Spring Main Road. He had a man on the back as a passenger. Now, that man is in his early 40s. We are told that 
Several motorcycles rode up behind Biggs and the hoodlums on the bikes. They opened gunfire. Biggs, he was hit and he ended up losing control of the bike and collided into a barbed wire fence. As a result, Biggs and the other man, they were flung from the bike. The hoodlums, they fired several more shots and rode away making good their escape. Biggs, he received gunshot wounds to the back of his head and he died as a result. The Pelean, he received injuries to his mouth, but that was as a result of him falling from the bike. The police, they found 12 9mm spent shells on that scene. Less than five minutes later, another bike taxi operator, he's in his late 40s. He was riding his red and gold CG150 motorcycle along the CM Salt Spring main road when the CM set of hoodlums rode up behind him. The Pelians on the bikes, they pulled guns and opened gunfire hitting the man to the back of his head. The hoodlums, they then rode away making good their escape. The man, although he was shot, he was able to ride his bike to the Green Island Police Station where he was assisted to hospital. Less than three minutes after that attack, the same set of hoodlums, they were riding past an ice cream parlor in the same Salt Spring area. The hoodlums, they opened gunfire in the shop, then rode away making good their escape. Are you listening? Anybody could have buy ice cream last night. When the shooting subsided, it was realized that a 13-year-old youngster named Alex, he's a student at the Anchovy High School. He was shot. He received a gunshot wound to the upper left section of his back. He was rushed to hospital where he was treated and admitted. So, instead of going to school tomorrow, this youngster will be in a hospital bed. All because of these hoodlums. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Popeye News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick silver sin. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Joe. Don't you be a bit me here, them a murder 